Hi guys, this is Mike the Nomad Shoppinger. Uh, welcome to a new series that I'm doing, and it's basically uh, giving a hand lift up instead of a handout. And uh, why I named it that program, that name, is because a lot of folks are out there in need uh, who, who could take advantage of so many opportunities, uh, but they're not well publicized or there's a lot of red tape. So what I'll be doing in these videos uh, is uh, hopefully be able to give folks a hand up, you know, a way to better themselves, uh, a way to make their life easier. And uh, the videos are geared to anyone uh, who may be on disability or retired with a very low social security check. You know, uh, social security was never designed to be uh, someone's full retirement income. Uh, and certainly disability does not cover a person's earning potential or uh, income if they could work. Uh, so, but fortunately there are a lot of programs out there for uh, folks who are facing disability or on disability or are retired but have a very low income or just have a low income minimum wage type job situation and uh, could use a, a hand up. And uh, so I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, please comment uh, any ideas you have or any questions. Leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll take the time to uh, look up the information if I can, if it's readily accessible, and uh, get an answer back to you, uh, you know, uh, either through a message or uh, 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 one of my videos. So have a great day. Enjoy the video and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is Mike, um, the Nomad Shoppinger from beautiful Fitchburg, Massachusetts. And I wanted to um, uh, talk to folks. Uh, like I mentioned, I was uh, kind of going to direct my channel a little bit towards helping folks with, uh, who are poor, uh, disabled, Social Security, retired, what have you. And uh, kind of make aware of some programs that are out there that are both public and private. Uh, especially if many of us live in the van life are doing it for economic reasons. I mean, um, my entire, my goal of living the van life is to be able to uh, live as cheaply as possible, but have the most quality of life possible. And uh, I just can't do that in a sticks and brick place. I mean, um, at the way rents are in the Boston area, I mean, uh, you know, you're looking at minimum 800, you know, to gosh, know what, knows what. For just a basic home in a semi-safe area in a semi-safe neighborhood, uh, I presently pay uh, $800 a month, and I live really on a, a main busy road and right next to the train tracks. And uh, you know, businesses are all around me, and uh, I thank God every day I have it because um, it's uh, it gives myself, my father, and myself a shelter. But it's not the way I want to spend the rest of my life. And so, like many folks out there, I'm going to try the, um, I'm going to be living the nomad lifestyle. Um, I'm slowly working my way towards that. I want to pretty much have all the elements in place before I leave. And, uh, of course, a lot depends on the situation with my dad. But anyways, um, like I mentioned in previous videos, I want to start giving folks uh, some useful information that could help. Uh, us to continue this or to maintain or to start this lifestyle and I ran across a great program it's called PCs for people uh, you'll see it running across their their website and uh, basically it's a program it's not government it's a private program it's supported by numerous uh, uh, companies here uh, Microsoft uh, the recycling association uh, uh, NAD, N-A-I-D, I don't know clue what that is, but they do a whole lot of stuff. They do um, recycling. They'll go to like a big company who's, let's say they're going to set up all new computer system. And uh, they'll come take the items of no charge, free of charge, so they don't have to pay, you know, a waste company to take them. And they refurbish them or recycle them. And uh, uh, it helps fund... Uh, 
their program. They also received a lot of grants. It was start, started in uh, Minneapolis, I think, uh, St. Paul. I, let me just uh, check this right out real quick. Um, uh, a fellow by the name of Andy Elfson. He was a social worker in Blue Earth County. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, eventually, they moved uh, to uh, St. Paul, Minneapolis. That's where the headquarters are. Uh, from what I understand, though, it is a program that reaches out to anyone who would like to take advantage of it. Um, they also work with a lot of uh, organizations, um, uh, especially youth organizations. Uh, uh, I think I've even heard of them before. It was PCs for Kids, something along that line. And um, so anyways, uh, how this all benefits us, there's several programs that there. First of all, you can purchase a PC or a laptop through them. And, um, you know, for a very reasonable price, I mean, uh, I think the PC started at $75. Uh, uh, they, uh, I think laptops are around 100 I believe some of them are refurbished, but I mean, they have 20-inch uh, flat screens for $50. I mean, very reasonable prices. Uh, there's a 90-day guarantee in all the products. You can order it online. Uh, shipping is free, so if you buy, you know, uh, uh, a monitor for 50 bucks, that's all it's going to cost you. And um, the best thing, though, really, I think, is the uh, internet. Um, uh, they work, I believe, on the, st on the Sprint uh, network. And I know Sprint has some spotty service, and I believe it's out west, so that may affect a lot of people out there. In the northeast, Sprint has very good service uh, I've found I have sprinted my telephone now but um, you can order it online uh, three months is a hundred and twenty dollars now that also includes a modem there's several types of modems I think the uh, this one includes a Franklin R850 modem so I guess that's the better one and they kind of toggle down here to uh, 114 um, so several motives that you can choose. Um, your service, though, uh, is uh, motive. The motive is eighty dollars. So your service for the three months is forty dollars, which is like twelve, thirteen dollars and thirty-three cents a month. Compare that to anything that's out there; you can't beat it. And why? And it's set up in a modem, so it's a hotspot. The hotspot will allow you to move anywhere you want to do go, and you'll have a mobile hotspot. And there's no uh, playing with a service. I mean, you get the 4, 4G light service no matter how much you use the computer. That's awesome. Now, after that, for uh, you could buy it every three months for $40. Or if you can afford to, for after you pay your initial fee to get started to buy the motor, uh, you can start out at, at $200. And that will include a full year of internet plus the modem, um, which is an $80 cost. So it's $120 for the year, 10 bucks a month. Can't beat it. I, when I look into this program, and hopefully I qualify, will probably start out with the lower three-month package just to be sure that it works and all that. And um, it will actually come out to almost a $200 savings for me. Um, well, not $200, probably maybe $100 savings because what I'll be able to do then is eliminate, now I can't, uh, eliminate my... Uh, internet here which is like 75 bucks a month and then i can eliminate my uh, uh, you know service so if i didn't have my dad i'd be able to eliminate all the services and just have the internet and i'd be fine with that but where i have the dad I, my dad and he requires certain tv shows i will have to look into that maybe there's another way i could uh, just buy apps or subscribe to the particular uh, stations he likes but if you're in a situation where you just need internet and you're on the road, I don't know what people are paying. I know there's uh, a lot of free internet out there through the Wi-Fi, but this gives you your own mobile hotspot. Uh, wherever there's internet service and wherever Sprint covers, you'll have internet for 10 bucks a month. I, I, I don't think there's any way of beating that. Um, again, I'm gonna put the website address down below. Uh, I haven't had time to apply for it yet, uh, but I will, and I'll let you know how that process goes. If you are part of this program, if you could leave a comment as to, uh, uh, you know, 
if it's worked for you, that would be great. If it hasn't worked for you, that'd be fine. Um, and again, uh, if you uh, are in a situation, know someone in a situation who's uh, tight on money, you know, um, and in the van life, especially uh, uh, doing it to have a much better, living the van life to have a better quality of life on a limited budget, please recommend this channel. Every few days, I want to try to come up with some new information. I'm even happy if someone leaves a request regarding something. Um, uh, I would be happy to take a few, uh, a little time and investigate as much as I can. Uh, God bless everyone for watching. Um, if you uh, love, it, like, like what you're hearing, subscribe. Uh, like if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't like it. Please leave a comment as to why you don't, so I can make whatever changes are necessary to make your viewing. Uh, happier um, and if it's about a comment I made uh, call me out on it and uh, we'll see what happens <laughs> well thanks everybody God bless um, I am asking folks I went to the vet last week with my dog she was acting a little lethargic and uh, had me a little concerned and um, they did some blood work on her and it, it turns out she has Lyme disease uh, while from what I understand from her, it's not life-threatening or anything like that. Uh, she's been on the medication for a few days now, but not really seeming much better. So if you guys could take a moment and pray for Callie, and uh, um, it'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, I know it'll go a long ways towards uh, making her better. Well, God bless everyone. I wish everyone uh, peace and blessings, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.